At a quarter past four, on a lazy August afternoon, way back in the olden days, when making wishes was still of some use, the most beautiful princess who ever lived sat on her own, playing catch with her golden ball at the bottom of the garden by a cool blue lily pond. Oh, if only I had a prince, she thought. Just like all the other girls, then everything would be so romantic and wonderful and... Oh no! Plop! Her favourite golden ball fell into the pond and sank deep to the bottom, lost forever. That was the only thing I had, she said, and burst into tears. <laughs> I haven't got a prince. I haven't got a ball. I... <laughs> What's wrong with you, King's daughter? Hmm? Sapphire, that was her name. Princess Sapphire looked round and saw a frog stretching its big, <coughs> ugly head out of the water. <coughs> uh, what will you give me if I bring your golden ball back up out of the water? Hmm? Well, whatever you would like, dear frog. Wow! When you let me be your best friend and sit beside you at the table and eat off your little golden plate and sleep beside you on your little silken pillow. Well, yes, of course, said Sapphire. I promise. So the frog swam down into the cool blue water. <coughs> oh, and you. <coughs> And he came back up with the golden ball in his mouth. Boom! He said, and the ball plump, 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 rolled onto the grass at Sapphire's feet. And she snatched it up and without saying thank you, ran away happily back to the palace. No, wait! Wait! said the frog. I thought I was going to be your friend. But she was gone. And there was nothing the frog could do but stay sitting in the pond, feeling like a complete fool and wet and very, very lonely. Ready? No. <sighs> anyway, a few weeks later, Princess Sapphire was at a banquet with the king and all the other royal princesses and the fancy dukes and countesses of the court. But more importantly, Lots and lots of handsome young princes had been invited so that Sapphire might choose one to be her husband. And she was smiling at them and uh, fluttering her eyelashes and saying, uh, yeah, I was on the moon last week and I've got a four-legged ostrich and I've got a chocolate typewriter that can swim upside down underwater. And all the young men thought she was so wonderful they began to kick each other under the table because they all wanted to marry her. Oh, bags, 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 see? Isn't she a tip-top corker? Rather, I'll say, ding-dong, bring her along. And she was feeling that she was quite the most marvellous princess there had ever been. Eating golden fruit from her little uh, uh, golden plate, everybody. <laughs> when something came creeping. <laughs> splish, <laughs> splash, <laughs> splish, <laughs> splash, <laughs> slither. <laughs> Slither up the marble staircase. And when it got to the top, it knocked at the banquet hall door and shouted, Princess! Princess Sapphire! Open the door for me! Everything went quiet. And Sapphire went to the door to see who it was. And when she opened the door, there's that frog! Hello! with his big googly eyes. Shall we go out and... <laughs> she slammed the door shut in his face and ran back to her place at the table. <laughs> her father, the king, turned to her and said, oh, Who was that at the door, Sapphire? Uh, um, uh, um, uh, nobody. Dad, um, uh, just a horrid frog. <laughs> a frog, he... Uh, <laughs> You will know you won't believe this. He got my ball out of the pond and made me promise that he could be my best friend. I mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously that's completely ridiculous. I mean, I am a princess. I don't hang out with slime. The king 
turned to Sapphire with a frown like dark thunder on his face. And he said, daughter, if you promise to do something, you should do it. Go and let him in. The father, open the door, please. So, in front of everyone, Sapphire had to let the frog in. Oh, princess! <laughs> Don't you talk to me. Come in, then, if you're coming. And the frog hopped in and followed her, step by step, to her chair, with everyone watching. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Lovely morning, isn't it, Kingy? <laughs> Sapphire sat down and left him on the ground, trying to ignore him. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on, everybody. <laughs> Let's talk some more about me. Um, um, uh, which one of you handsome young men wants to carry all my crowns to school for me tomorrow? <laughs> lift me up beside you, please. Be quiet. Now go on, lift me up beside you. Shut up. But the king looked at her in a terrible way. No, just a joke. And he said, I command you to lift the frog up and put him where he asks. Once the frog was on the chair, he said, Now, put me on your lovely golden plate. So we could eat together. And Sapphire had to do it, because the king was watching her all the time. And she realised that everyone else was watching her too. And the other princesses <laughs> were starting to giggle. <laughs> and the elegant countesses were whispering to each other behind their fans. She has got a frog on her plate. Yeah, a frog. Is she going to eat it? I mean, I've heard of frog's legs, but this one is alive. Maybe it's a new fashion. Get me a frog, Henri. <gasps> Maybe so. Get me two, Henri. Quick, quick. And the handsome young men were beginning to mutter, I say, do you think she's a bit potty? She's got a frog on her plate. I think she's completely balmy. I don't want to marry her. You marry her. No, no, no. You, you marry her. No, you. Pax, pax, fainzy, fainzy. And they all started kicking each other again because none of them wanted to end up marrying potty, balmy, frog-loving Sapphire. And Sapphire wanted to just die of shame. At the end of the meal, the frog said, loud enough for the whole room to hear, Nah, Sapphire, <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> I feel very tired. <sighs> Carry me to your room so I can sleep on your silken pillow beside you. <laughs> Princess Sapphire <laughs> began to cry when she realised she'd have to do what the frog demanded. <laughs> She didn't want to roll over in her sleep and get a mouth full of cold frog. <coughs> but the king grew very angry with her. You do as you are bid, girl. A promise is a promise. He helped you when you were in trouble. Now you keep your part of the bargain. Just because he's a slimy lump of horrible green revoltingness is no excuse for rude behaviour. So she took hold of the frog with two fingers and she had to carry him upstairs. All the way up the stairs. <laughs> And in her bedroom, she slammed the door and threw the frog in the corner. Boing, 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 boing. And you stay there and be quiet, you disgusting creature. All I've ever wanted is a prince, and now you've ruined everything. I'll be princeless for the rest of my days. She wept 96 tears into her pink silk pillow. But it didn't end there. Put me on your pillow, princess. What? <laughs> I'll tell your daddy if you don't. You little creep. And she stormed out of bed and grabbed him by one leg and threw him on the pillow as far away from her as possible. Now will you leave me alone? No. What now? Kissy wissy. Just one little kissy wissy for Froggy. Or I'll have to hop down the stairs and tell your father you threw me around by one leg. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Well, that's not a very nice kissy. Oh, all right. No, I can't. You're just too disgusting. Oh, Daddy! All right, all right, all right, all right. 
When Sapphire opened her eyes, the frog had turned into a prince, far more handsome than anyone had ever seen. Hello, said Sapphire. Thank you, said the prince. I was turned into a frog by a wicked witch who could only be saved by a kiss. It's unlucky that you're such a nasty, bad-tempered creature, but you might get kinder-hearted as you get older, so twinkle, 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 if you like, you can marry me. Oh, all right, said Sapphire. Great, said the prince. I, uh, I can't talk to you anymore now. I'm going to have a shower and get all this pond water off me. I suppose I'd better find some clothes as well. <laughs> uh, see you in the morning. It was love. And the very next day, Sapphire and the magic prince were married. Hooray, hooray, ding dong, ding dong, lots of confetti and parties. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs>